passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. (laughs) Is this how the show would go if it was just me and you? (laughs) What'd you say? You guys said, what if it was just you and him on the show? Yeah, this is because we've been talking since you've been going. Motherfucker, I'm doing a sound check back there. What do you think I'm doing? Listen, it was just plain. It was just me and him just talking. I saw it wasn't even that good. Exactly. That's what I said. Is this what it would be like if it was just me and you? Now, let me tell you something. I've had the the time time of of my my life. life. And I owe it all to you. Man, Craig, you were singing that in the bathroom. I told, it's been in my head for like two days. I just looked it up. It's from Dirty Dancing. I and I, nobody, nobody real famous, I think, that that wrote the song. Okay. I, I <laughs> forgot. By the time I walked from back there to here, which was a seven-second walk, I forgot who really? did the song. So. Really? That fast? Yeah, but I appreciate you singing that. So. Yeah, yeah. That's been in the top. It's been it's, it's spinning. It's spinning. So what's going on? Operation Pigmentation. We're back. Craig the Barber, Rio, Seth Cush. I'm excited to see the guys. It feels like it's been a while. It's been it's been a week. It's been a week, but it always feels like it's been longer than that. Yeah, and yeah, you right. guys have your big school supply drive coming up. Back to school bash this Sunday. Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. August 4th. From All 1 to right. 3. I got a, I got a report. Okay. <laughs> Lay it on me. Quinn says that we're only about 25 book bags only. We have enough supplies, but we will take more supplies. But more than anything, we need small kids book bags. We still, okay. We need those last week too, right? Yeah, that's the only thing we're really short. Because we started off at 50, then we went to 100. Because, you know, we had such a good start. So what, we got 75 right now? Yeah, we 75. How many you guys have last year? Zero. Really? Yeah. Did you guys do this last year? What did we do last year? Did you guys just give? I know I it's hard. We had a discount day. Okay. Yeah, we think we had a discount day. Yeah, this is our first day, actually. Our first year, actually. You surprised? Are you, are you surprised about the outpouring of you know no, donations? I, I, Hell I, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I very mean, surprised. I really would like to say thank you to the Bubba Army. Yeah. Which now I am a part of. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, the, for us to step it up the way we did. These kids and the people that are receiving these things, I really, truly, you know, believe that they're going to, you know, be blessed by this. Plus, it makes the barbershop look greatly, you know. Oh, you're giving back, man. Yeah, I think know, it's cool. We, you know, we're trying to ease our way, you know, to under Camilla or whatever her name is. Oh, Kamala? Yeah, her name. Well, uh, yeah. The Harris girl. Is she going to be our boss? The y'all's boss. What do you mean? Yeah. My, what do you mean? What does I'm that mean? I'm not a part of that foolishness. I'm not a part of that foolishness either. I'm a registered <laughs> felon, Rio. Did you know that shit? I can't even vote. Fuck when this country. I am too. I can't fucking that vote. that happen, Seth? Oh, shit, so, Craig. Uh, you don't even been knowing, man. <laughs> when you were in jail, Craig, I had to do you my own shit. You thugging and shit? Yeah, yeah. I did just, oh, man. Yeah, it was just That's dude. terrible, I'm Seth. definitely not welcome to the party. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, I was just, yeah. I was, so let's just say that we'll talk about that one day. I was selling dirt. felony conviction. Yeah. We'll talk about that one day. So Away from I the could year. give two fucks who wins this That's shit. right. True. Yeah, pretty much. All right, now let me ask. So uh, uh, talking about the supplies and all that, I know uh, a couple of guys don't live in town. They've mailed stuff, people, you know, donating money. Yes. But right. uh, JKDG, you know, some friends of the podcast, they like the show. Um, they actually showed up with me to meet Frank Thomas yesterday, which was very, very cool. Awesome guys that come down to the barber shop. They've gone there a few times. Yeah, they come there a few times. And what? And uh, they they made a donation the other day, right? Yes, um, they did. Yeah, it was the uh, ref guy, referee. The Rick. referee came, referee Rick. Or re- I wasn't there, but he gave a big old C note. Referee Rick. 
Yeah. yeah I, feel, I, feel, I believe that's his name. Referee Rick. He's a referee. Okay. Yeah, I figured that. But yeah, but he's not one of our, he's not like a dude I know, right? He's Bubba's Army. Oh, is he? He said he's Bubba's Army. Rick the referee's Bubba's Army. Rick the referee okay. or something like that. I, I, but that's not his real name. He's, these people have like seven chat names, you know? Right. That's his like, but he really does Ralph. Okay. What does he yeah, ref? He's fucking look like Ed Hockey League. He's <laughs> fucking cut up and shit. <laughs> He's it might have been shape. Ed. And then he tells me, I probably refed a few of your games when you were in high school. What the fuck? So he's an older guy, but he looks fucking great. Okay. <laughs> this man is ripped. <laughs> and he just broke out a, a C-No for you guys? Yeah. That's yeah. very cool. That yeah. was pretty cool. And yeah. so I know. I know For the uh, backpack. Backpack. So the school we, drive. He was donating do, for that. If we do fall short, we'll take the cash and we'll use it for that. And we'll use it for food. And other things. Well, let's be honest, Craig. I think if you're asking for 25 little little kids' backpacks right now with the quality of people that listen to this podcast, I, I would imagine you'll be able to get that taken care of before. Yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm, I'm truly blessed to be a part of this movement. Now, just tell me. I'm trying to talk about our boys because I'm trying to lead into the fact that we're, we're all hanging out tomorrow. So my dudes came down there. They're, they're always down there. They roll through. Um, I guess now... I went and met Frank Thomas yesterday. I'll get into her. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Did you know that, Craig? No. Okay, well, I'll tell you. Are you do you want to he hear? He posted yes. it, and I saw it on his on Instagram. Yeah, Craig, you'll it, follow me on Instagram, man. I'm, I'm you know I'm not tech sad. We used I, to be I'm working on. I know you were on Twitter for a minute, and I yeah, I just be doing that shit on drunk nights. I know his his name on Twitter is like lat one two three four eight nine twelve seventeen four q x. I mean, That's me. yeah, he's just like signs up for whatever screen That's name. That's ridiculous. They, well, I know it's <laughs> fucked up. Whatever, whatever screen name they give him. So I those. Guys, so I saw my dudes when I met Frank Thomas. They helped me out and took some pictures and all that stuff. Okay, cool. And then they asked me, they're like, "Hey, you want to go to the Rays game on Wednesday at noon?" You know, and I said, "Yeah." I said, "Listen, guys." I said, "This is going to sound crazy, but <laughs> last time I went to a Rays game in the afternoon, Craig and Rio gave me a bunch of shit because I didn't." Goddamn in- right. I said, "I said I didn't invite them." So I said, "Let me just see if those guys want to go." Before I commit, because I don't want them to be mad at me at all. Right. So they go, all right. They're like, no problem. Just let us know. We'll, we'll buy their tickets. I said, like, okay, great. So I texted you guys, you know, a couple hours later, and I was like, hey, you know, these guys want you guys want to go. You go, oh, they already swung by the shop. Yeah, we're yeah, good. We're JK good. JK already put me up on it. Yeah, like he just came by the shop yesterday. You Popped were, in. You were sleeping. Yep. And he woke you up and said, you want to go to the game? No, he said, get your ass up. He said, get your ass up. <laughs> and he said, you want to go to the game on Wednesday. Right. And did he tell you why? Well, he just was like, hell, I got some tickets. We're taking um, me and um, Seth. And he was just explaining how we just was meeting the big hurt. And yeah. God damn it. We're, you're going to the game with us. Yeah. Are, are you, well, now tell me. So not only did you get the tickets, you know, covered, which, you know. Right. I, now we're going. So, I right. mean, like, I'm, I'm cool, right? We're... Yeah, everything's you're good. You're fucking awesome. Bro. All right, man. Shit. We're tighter than booty partners now. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to just make sure. I'm going to be there, by the way, August 4th. I, I'm going to help you guys hand out shit. Is that cool? That's fine. Yeah, okay. right. you should be there. You're okay. Yeah, Operation you're, Pigmentation. Yeah, bro, you're not just like the. Just the weird white guy in there anymore? Yeah, you're, you're, you're not part a of us. circle, bro. I know it's, Bubba's army now. Yeah. God damn it, you need to start acting like I it. don't know how to act sometimes. I feel I, I was more secure back before we did the podcast together because now when I go in there, I feel like, you know, we're talking content. We're talking big podcasts. Everybody starts, you know, peeking, trying to see what we're talking about. Then they Fuck want- them. Fuck them. You got to start stop overthinking shit. Oh, yeah. that's too late. And for just it. go for the fucking flow. No, I'm in the flow, baby. I'm just saying that sometimes, you know, I just feel like, you know, I feel like somebody might stop, take me out. Stop for wasting, what? Stop Why wasting would you that space. Wasted energy. I wasted don't know. energy. Nobody's going to take you out. No one's going to take you out. You've been coming us. there 15 years. 20, 20. And you haven't been taken out yet. 20. Yeah. Now, and let me ask, I'll talk about Frank Thomas, but Craig, I saw the video and I'm just looking so... I, I that bald spot is really fucking really screaming you, you right wanna, now. You want to do something about it? I don't know. I when you cut my hair, Craig, it's still like I still I feel good. Like it looks great. I guess I I shouldn't worry too much about what it looks on the back of my You're head. Already married. You're, you're just telling me, you're just telling me to give up, man. No, I did not see that. I'm just. Is it time to shave the head? No. Okay. It is not time. When will it be? When will it be time? When will I know? You'll know. I'm going to tell you, this is when you'll know. When motherfucking Seth money fully appears, you can rock the baldy. Okay. All right. Well, you'll let me. So that's how you're going to tell me. Yep. When I appear. Okay. That's when you shall become 
Seth money. All right. Like the full thing. Like because it's going to be. Yeah. Like that's when it would your be mother full circle. renaming you. Yeah. It would be like the rebirth. Uh, so like a bar mitzvah. Once, you, once uh, you go this way, you can't go back. I don't want to go back. You're not, You're gonna not be going to be able back. to go back. You think I want to go be back to being fuck boy? No, exactly. you're never going to be no. back to no, that. No, I don't need to be fuck boy. Yeah, you'll never be back to that as long as you are with us. Yeah. Or we will not allow. I can't. We don't hang with fuck boys. Yeah, that don't. Or associate with them. All right, good. Get rid of them. I'm yeah. done associating with them too. As soon as I'm done being one, um, well, you you've been working diligently. Yeah, yeah. And I got you've to got a to lot you. of Bubble Army that's recognizing that too. Uh, yeah, because they come and they say, "Seth, you guys are doing a good job with Seth." Yeah, even the lady at the dispensary. Look, oh, yeah. Well, she. I don't think she's really listening, Craig. She's she. she I, I, I. She has given me words that we have said. What? Well, what do you do? You're being all sexy today. I got Rio up on the mic, and now I got you. What is she? No, that lady. We went there, and she acted like she knew who I was, and she acted she like she did. She did what? She knew who you were. No, Seth, stop underthinking yourself. There's nothing to think. You are the shit. I think you if, gotta believe it. I think if you knew who I was, you would know. Nope, nope. You would know nope, something nope, about nope, me. Nope, nope, nope. nope. I well, know. Well, first and I foremost, we need you to grow some eighty-pound balls. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. At least eighty pounds. Harry, <laughs> worth Harry the balls. Was. And Harry that was. will solve a lot of shit. They either need to be hairy as fuck or crow. Because that's going to instill a level of confidence. Yeah, are eighty-pound balls have. a thing? Because I heard Eminem rap one time about eighty-pound balls. Big see, six inch see, thongs see, it's, um, or something like that. See, it's um, no, even Eminem said it. Kind of like a figure of speech. It is okay. Yeah. yeah why did they pick eighty? I don't 80? literally mean eighty. No, I know, balls. but why do they pick eighty? Why do they pick eighty pound because balls? Because it's a great. Because it size. sounds better than it twenty pound better. balls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seventy. Yeah, I guess. You okay. You know colossal. when somebody says you got some fucking kahunas. Yeah. Right. Right. They don't right. Mean, they don't, they don't, mean, don't mean, like mean twenty pounds. They mean like eighty pounds worth of kahunas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot barrel. of kahuna. That means you got a lot of goddamn willpower, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. You standing on that shit. Yeah. Hey, how you guys feeling about all the race trades lately? I know you're. You know, oh I know, my god, the who? The baseball trade. You done? Oh. You, you done for the year, Rio? Oh, well, no, we're winning. So I mean, you know, I don't really know how to feel. Well, Me I, either. I'm in the same position. We traded off our best pitcher Sunday. I know. I, and it, we yeah. won. We I, beat Cincinnati Reds. We swept them. I don't think. I don't think that Paredes deal is all that great. I mean, at least right now. The guy that they got from the the guy that they traded to the Cubs, oh, Isak Paredes. They traded Isak. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't I didn't know that. Know that. Oh, yeah, my God. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they got a kid, Christopher Morel from the Cubs, who was a rookie last year, but he is uh, he's bad. him. He's bad. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. That was what uh, Randy O'Rell's arena was bad, and that's why we got rid of him. Right, right. Wow. And so I mean, the Cubs acquired. I mean, they, they were they, they are both twenty five. The Rays got a couple extra prospects. Well, let's but, just can I actually itself have the Rays given up? on this season. No, but you know how the Rays go. Where what they, about management? Has management given up no, on this season? No. The Rays way is to always like try and look a little bit ahead. So it, look, there was no reason to keep a Rosarina. That's fine. I'm not okay. He was like 75 years and, old. And everybody's okay. like, oh, you know, we know how it is. You got to get rid of these guys before you pay them. There's no salary cap. The Rays could pay anybody that they choose to pay. Right. In fact, did you see the story that came out a couple weeks ago that they offered Aaron Judge two years ago, 10 years, 300 million? Wow. You guys didn't see that at all? No. Aaron Judge confirmed that when he was a free agent, wow. and he ended up signing, I think, nine years, wow. $380 million. Wow. He said that the Rays made him that actual offer. Well. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know what they think that he would have done. Maybe they'd be selling out every night. I have no idea. I don't think they'd wow. be a World Series team. You know but- what his agent said? If you do that, your career is over. You will be rich, but your career is over. Oh, I think he wanted to go back to the Yankees anyways, and, and I get nobody that. Nobody with, who's played with the Yankees is going to want to ever go to the Rays. Just at the, maybe at the end of their career? No, even those people that did that, no, Fred man. McGriff and all them, they didn't like that shit. Not everybody likes the Yankees and the, and the New York and the media and all that. Okay, Some people like— but what I'm saying is, how do you go from a, a, a team and a legacy that great? Because right now, it looks like to me that the Rays are like, like the bumbling idiots of the MLB. Yeah. But they turn a dollar every season. They stay in contention. Yeah. So I must say that they're whatever they're doing, they're showing that it does work. It does work. Do you know that my White Sox are 53 games under 500? Yeah. yeah. 
That's fucking great, isn't it, yeah. man? Yeah. They're yeah. terrible. They're going for one of the worst or record. They're like, going for like the worst record in like baseball real, history. They look like good for them. Yeah, they look like the team on of uh, the what it was with uh, the Wild Thing on it. What the? What you the, remember the movie with Wild Thing? With the, oh, 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 Major League Charlie yeah. Sheen. Yeah, yep, that's how bad your team is right now. Yep. I didn't even think about. I need, might need to watch that Just movie. Just a little bit outside. And let me tell you this. Let me ask you guys because that's my team. That's my team, the White Sox. I'm yeah, rooting. I, I am rooting for them to lose. I'm rooting for it to be the for worst. What? So he can have the record. What is the advantage? The, the adva- record. The advantage. What are you going to achieve? Well, here's what I'm going to achieve. The gonna worst ach- record ever. Fuck. Well, here, here I can already tell Rio's not going to not going to be on my side on this one. Craig might be. Um, because it's I. You could see this coming as a fan. You could see where things have been going. They got a new general manager this year. They didn't really improve their team. The owner has been very content with you know just making money for the last uh, 20, 30 years. Oh my. And it's just, you can, you know, like if you know enough about your team, you know when they're trying to win and you know when they're just trying to get through. You can also see when a team has no real clear plan at all. And to me, that's what's happening. They're going to fire their their manager at the end of this year. This Again, this is a first-year GM. And, oh, man. and if you're going to be the worst, be the absolute worst, man. I said oh, man. my dad, 77 years old, I go, I bet my dad never in his lifetime thought that he would see the White Sox have the worst <laughs> record in like 170 years of baseball. <laughs> So I mean I feel like that's at least got to be special for him. All right, let me talk to you guys about the uh, the Olympics. Or anybody, I'm I'm locked oh, in on it. You anybody else? I've been watching it. Yeah, we've been watching it at the barbershop. It's I can't the say house. locked in, but I'm, I'm not going to say locked in. Okay, but I'm, I'm watching it. I won't say locked in either. Maybe I got excited and misspoke. But well, I, I was I, locked in for the basketball. For what? Sorry. What? What, what? U.S. played Serbia? Yeah, they shouldn't have. Ooh. Game shouldn't have been that close. I don't. I think they won by like twenty or so, didn't they? Yeah, I think they, the they, biggest story out of that was Jason Tatum didn't get to play. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like that's there's stuff <laughs> there's stuff going on. Like there's that's what's interesting about it. <laughs> They're making it a big deal. It's nothing. Well, they said that Jason Tatum's going to play against. They're playing South Sudan again, and I guess they said because oh he going to play tonight just because out of guilt. They yeah, guilted his ass. <laughs> oh no, they're playing. I guess they said like Bam Adebayo might not play. And Jason Tatum's going to play, but yeah. I mean look, for a guy to be first all. You know, first all NBA, and then to go to the Olympics, and he had guys like uh, you know Derek White, who they picked because Kawhi Leonard had to leave one of his teammates. Like he was, he was like the last guy added to the team, and he played a hell of a lot more than Jason Tatum did. But Damn. I'm sure Jason Tatum's going to get his love. And I know Celtics fans are upset, but what are you watching? I am, I am watching basketball. I love basketball from almost all these countries because you're going to find NBA players on most every single team. Yeah. Yeah. I love the. I don't want to say I love the women's gymnastics because I just like. Like Simone Biles, I'm really into her. Um, there's rugby that I just found out about. I women's like rugby. Rugby. There's some some rugby I just found out about, and then the women's diving. I don't. They're. Uh, I like rugby. I do the diving. I'm, I'm into with, the. I'm really all into that. all the sports. It's, I what? like the swimming. I've been kind of keying in on the swimming, the men's okay. and the women. You watching this stuff at night or just on the barber, like live like event? Both at a shop and at home during the day. The, the swimming shit don't really come on until at night though. Well, I think I don't. I think they save. I think for prime time. That's right. right. I think they take this. Think, all of that should be re, uh, pre-recorded. Oh, big time, big time. Yeah. So when I do catch it, it's already like they're really showing highlights. So I have the Peacock app where pretty much like you yeah, can go. I there's got a, that. you have that. Yeah. You got the Olympic page where you can go. Yeah. It shows you everything that's coming up, every everything. event that's going How on. Y'all get Peacock. Right. Y'all pay for that. It's on the app we got. You just gotta click on Peacock. You just oh, never clicked in it. On the TV, yeah, the TV okay. cable out. Yeah, cool. what's what's going on? What's... Cool. I didn't know that. I he had didn't a know feature. he had Peacock. You were just sitting around watching, uh, you know, NBC every single night. Just, no, just porn. Just looking what they were seeing, showing just porn. you. Just porn. Just porn. Just porn. Yeah, we very, got two hundred channels of porn on our on our app, our TV live TV. There app. are. I didn't even know there's like four channels of it. No, it's like two hundred. I think we got like two hundred and sixty channels. Are they foreign? Like, what are the channels? Every no, they're fish. all everything. Well, every, I, well, whatever you, you can need. Think of. Well, whatever just, you can pull up on the internet. All right, just tell me. I mean, like, tell me how it's laid out. Like, what do you just go? Are, is there certain categories? Is yeah, it, it's all yes. categorized. All categorized. You know, whatever ABC you think all of. the way down. To, what was the whatever. last category you guys clicked on? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 this is a going joke at the barbershop right there. You know Nobody I mean? shares their porn. Nobody shares their porn info. <laughs> right. shares porn info. You know what I'm saying? Like Who I'm just gonna tell that? you. Is it illegal? I watched. I watched. It's like an unwritten law. You yeah, don't fucking watch, watch porn with anyone but a woman. Right. You don't discuss the porn with your homeboys. 
I don't detail. run to the barbershop oh, about hey, anything. Man, tonight when you get home, man, make sure you get hey, wild, wet women. BBW, yeah, wet that, yeah. Wendy, Doves <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, get that one. Get Nobody that. wants to uh, <laughs> reveal you, that. Do you know why we're talking about porn? Because we were talking Craig about the Olympics, we were yeah. like good hosts. He was hosts. talking about yeah. how he he's whacking off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah, we're a couple much. of good Americans, Rio. Despite us being registered felons, yeah. Yeah. and 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 this is what yeah. Craig's over here talking about porno. And then I ask yeah. a follow up, and yeah. then all of a sudden I'm breaking this unwritten and unwr- unwritten law. Well, yeah. because you're questioning. I, I mean, we all know that all good Americans, we all watch porn. Yes, but I. But want, we don't discuss it. But there's, I don't have two hundred. I go to a website. I don't have two hundred and sixty channels. So I'm wondering if I had two hundred sixty channels, what's on the channels? Everything. Just Everything. To, like maybe you guys can just tell me, uh, like, is there the stuff that you weren't privy to when you were a little kid? You mean like they're showing that like since the seventies porn? Everything. I'm pretty sure they got some retro channels on yeah, there. They got yeah, retro. No, I haven't like you can get some looked bush. at all 260 hey, channels. Hey, Seth, you can get some bush. <laughs> you can get a little bushy. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to know the late. Because you, guys, get, you got the BBC Cream Pie. Yeah, yeah. Channel. That's, that's yeah. a channel. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Whenever, Nothing but cream pies you can from BBCs. <laughs> whatever you can think of is a channel. You got the big booty bitches. Oh, you yeah. got the uh, bitches on bitches. Yeah, 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 um, yeah right You guys like when they oil, oil up the ladies? No, it looks like nah. it's kind of messy, right? Yeah, I don't. I'm not. Nah. That's a little too freaky. For it's. Me. I mean, well, I mean. You All have that an, oil and shit. But you don't, like, regular people don't oil their bodies up, do they? Nah. That's no. the porno thing? I think that's for Hollywood. Yeah. Well, I think they, oh, the super freaky people. What? No, I talked to, uh, we had a porno lady once back in the day who would come on the radio with us, and she said that when you oil up, it, it, it covers up, like, your flaws. Oh, yeah, I can believe that. So, I, I mean, but, believe that. but again, I don't know, man. Like, it's, uh, I mean, we can already see everything, so. Oh, man. Right. I'm <laughs> fucking with the lights on anyway, so, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Buck up. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man, daytime on top of the sheets. So you didn't know you didn't know Craig that Frank Thomas was in town yesterday? No, I did not know that Big Hurt was in town. Yeah. And he's still big. He's hey, and and he, and I just remember him doing the uh the testosterone I know, commercial. That's him with the flutie. Yeah, him and <laughs> Your wife is gonna like it Your too. Your wife is gonna love it. And he throws a little thrust in his hips and shit. Like, God damn it, big hurt. Good job, God big damn, hurt. Good dog. job. That was something that everybody in the last three days that I've talked about Frank Thomas has referenced, and it was something like a commercial they only showed at ESPN at like two o'clock in the morning. Right. And I'm like, everybody the, seen it. This everybody is a, seen this it. This is a first ballot Hall of Famer. This guy played football. He played with Bo Jackson. There's so many great things that the guy's done in his career, and we're talking about the fucking cryo fucking pills or whatever. The dick yeah. pills. The dick pills that he was yeah, talking. Yeah, he's got yeah. fucking dick pills, and that's yeah. all we know him for. Well, he shifted. I couldn't tell you one stat he had in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but I know he has goddamn great uh, advertisement marketing for dick pills. I'm sure his testosterone is is doing just fine. I would have to, I would have to imagine. I mean, hey man, he's a big guy. But he's big got guy. his and he's rich. He, he's got his vodka. He had a FT35, and yeah, they were signing at the uh, ABC Liquor on on Fourth Street. So, wow, I, oh man, that's I, what's up. Yeah, so I had our I had our dudes. Um, Did you taste it? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. What the fuck? Why I don't drink. I don't. It? I don't drink. That's not drinking. That's tasting. That's no, tasting. I don't. I they uh, there were you know like um. Uh, 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 yes, yeah, it's like just that. a taste. No, they were all, they offered me one when I was leaving, and I was like, oh, I got four bottles. You know, I'm all good. And then they were like, hey, do you want a shirt? And I was like, yeah, I'll take a shirt. So yeah, if Frank Thomas said, do you want to do a shot with me? You're such a big fan. I can't believe I get to meet you. I would do that with him, but I I don't. I wouldn't just. I'm not. I don't. I'm, it's a collector's item. He signed the bottle. I'm keeping it. Okay, okay. That's understandable. I can go for that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't You're offer you a, a shot, shot tomorrow. And you didn't turn it down so we can. Because I was getting ready to go tomorrow. left with this. Tell Wait. him now. He's getting a shot tomorrow. What do you mean I'm getting a shot tomorrow? You going yeah, to the game? taking shots tomorrow. Oh, shit. You going to the game? Yeah. You getting a shot? Yeah. You guys don't want to You guys don't want to do that. We, it's, we do it every God time we it. walk in the stadium. I'm buying your drinking. What are... Just one shot. God damn. Hey, wait. It doesn't matter. You just give me a second to work through this, man. I haven't had a shot in years. Well, get ready. It's just one. Yeah, put a base coat down before we go to the game. What is that? What is a base coat? I mean, yes, I guess you got to put something on your stomach. Oh. Eat something. Oh. Eat something. Oh, boy. Okay. Base Hot coat. dog. I got to get dog. all, re- I got to do all this just in preparation for a shot. I don't want to hear any 
I don't want to hear any bitchy shit afterwards. What would you? What do you think you're gonna hear? I don't feel good. Uh, anything. I mean, I could even make you take a time. shot or buy you a whole fucking beer. Oh, I don't want a beer, man. Right. Right. Well, I don't want to shot. Take, take the we shot. Need a fucking shot. Man. Jesus. All right. On a pussy. Bring your fucking little pod thing. And look, I got one too. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll bring yeah. my my pen. Get a little thing of majanga, and then we get a shot, and then we go get an ice. We do it every time. Do you guys get beer or no? Yeah, I get beer. Okay. Rio gets plenty of. Them. <laughs> yeah. I get the shot with him. I, I Rio's kind of being hard on me, but Rio, <laughs> Rio, uh, Rio I got. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we uh we got medicinal marijuana here, illegal in Florida. You know, you can medicate whenever you need to. <laughs> All right, the good lord, I'm back. <laughs> and what's Craig? What I mean, you, we wait for you, you know, to finish the blunt outside before we start this. I did and not finish. You do half it, then you leave the other half, and then what? Yeah. It rained last time; it got all wet and stuff. No, it didn't get wet. I leave. I like how you leave the blunt the blunt out. Like that's how you do it at the barber shop. You just like, yeah. leave it out on the windowsill. I so. do that at the mall. Uh, oh, man, that's some dedication to Jay to- Byron's. <laughs> Oh, Walmart, what Target. A, what a reference, Jay you know Byron. Jay Byron. Is they baby. still alive? No, no they not alive. Mars yeah. Brothers, Gafers. Oh, you Gafers. remember that? You yeah, remember Gafers. That? I think Do they turned into Dillard's. Of you guys remember what the name of that shit in the mall used to be when I just was too young to get all these goddamn clothes out of, uh, and and they looked at like like an urban store. It, no, it looked like Vanilla Ice was in the store. At all times. Sears? No, it was a... Uh, Journeys? It was a men's store. Uh, it was a men's clothing store. The Gap? That late, no, it was the late Learners? 80s. Learners from New York? No. Was, <laughs> did you say late 80s? Yeah. yeah. My mom was still addressing me then, man. I don't fucking know. That's why I never got to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yep. know. I don't know anything about that. Me neither. I just want to say, Rio. Just I, I feel like you're being you're you're being hostile towards me and me my hesitance towards the shop. But I thought about you for you know this game and uh, you know the guys picked up the bill for the ticket. So I mean I'm not. So even, the least I can do is get a goddamn shot for you and drink it. I mean that's ve- that is very kind. Or you could just Thank you. slip the eight bucks in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, way more than eight bucks, buddy. <laughs> what? About yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Uh, can I? It's a little more than. That. I was gonna say I would like to take a. I would rather take a shot of the Frank Thomas vodka, but I can't open them at you all. Can't open them. No. Yeah, we're not. Did he sign about all that. of them? Gonna be at the game. Yeah, he didn't. He, <clears throat> everything was pre-signed. So oh. what, what I had to do was because I don't. I don't even. I've never even been in the liquor store. So I had to. You have to buy them ahead of time. So I bought them. They were twenty bucks a piece, and then. They were signed, so on your way out, you show them the receipt, and then you pick up your bottles. Oh. So you were in a line. You were. I got to meet him, you know, being with media. So I just yeah. went up to him right. and I, I showed him all the jerseys. I was wearing, I was wearing three jerseys, Craig. Wow. Uh, of two of his White Sox jerseys, one of his Blue Jays jerseys, and wow. he, he played for Oakland, but I couldn't find that one. Damn. So that I was the I, best jersey too. Yeah, and then and then my daughter was wearing one, and oh, yeah. and he's like. He goes, I have the video of it. He's, he goes, I'm impressed when I was showing him all those. So yeah, I ain't going to say no lie. That. You, you, you went hard then. You did that. Well, listen, you know, I, I was I was talking to Bub and I go, how do you how do you tell Stand somebody? Out, huh? yeah. Well, no, it's like I've been following him since I was eight. So I go, how do you tell somebody, you know, at at 42 years old that you've been following, you know, you've been following. Frank Thomas, you're my life, man. Right, like I finally met you. Everything is complete. Uh, I was thinking about you when I was humping my wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a good one. It's not it's not that <laughs> thing, but here, look, but I'm gonna ask you guys like you I had the, the time, time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I owe it all to you. <laughs> you guys are yeah, that's what you could have did right there, Seth. All right, but you guys when you guys were, song. when you guys were younger, you guys had favorite favorite baseball players, right? Yeah, yeah. Who who were they? Dale Murphy. That's everybody loved Dale. Rio, what about you? I would have to say Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson, yeah, okay. That's on my list. He was too. fast. Some people love Ken Griffey Jr. Now, do you think that you're ever going to love a player again the way you love Dale Murphy or the way you love Ricky Henderson? No. No, because no. you're not a kid. You don't have that innocence. We know that these right. guys. Okay, well, I take that back. Okay. It's going to be either one of my grandsons. <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> that's fine. But I'm, I'm just talking. You know, if one of them do it, then yeah, I have that kind of reverence for them. I, but 
Yeah, that's gonna be hard to duplicate. I'm just saying that childhood innocence, where like you know, it's you just have yeah. sp- it's all just sports in your life in school, and like those guys are your heroes. You know, like, For real. like let's not forget, like you know, I was a kid. You know, Frank Thomas is larger than life. So even as an adult. At- Someone who's met famous people, that doesn't fade at all. And, I, you know, I was nervous. I was nervous yesterday. Um, it was kind of just a full, full circle moment because. Yeah, Seth was all geeked up. All right, shit. you guys, motherfucker, man. I'm trying to just get emotional. I'm just That's trying to. For real, man. That's so great. But listen, really I, got to meet him, I met him when I was eight in Orlando. My daughter was seven yesterday. She met him. I, I, I told Bubba on the podcast before this one that it was almost one of those moments that makes life feel like it, it's, it's for a reason. You know, yeah, just the way, yeah, yeah. just the way that all played out, dude. And to have my favorite player be right down the street, and you know, my home now, my 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 hometown, my favorite city in the fucking world, St. Pete. That's real. I just, I just, it, it was awesome, man. And it, I, it was, it was uh, a lot of people were happy for me, and I, I didn't realize like how how awesome it was until way after the fact because I didn't know Frank Thomas was so many people's favorite player, you know, outside yeah, of yeah, Chicago yeah. fans. So yeah. that's all. That's all. Did so, you speak? To him? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I spoke to him. That's good. So I just said, I said, hey, my dad, you know, I met you when I was eight, and I said, I got all your jerseys, and then he was, he laughed, you know, and then I showed you him. Did tell him that you had all his addresses and emails No, it's not like that. Socials. My, and, no, I'm just fucking with you. Bro. Listen, man. <laughs> Do you tell him that you look at a picture of him on the wall while you're humping your wife? <laughs> Did you tell him that? No, nah, no, man. <laughs> I can't fucking catch a break around here. I'll just. The oh, wor- Seth, we love you, though. Bro. Yeah, I know. The worst part about yesterday was the fact that, like, my bald spot was very pre- like prevalent. Oh, now you Nobody go looked at it. Nobody I promise you. That. Nobody saw it. You don't Seth, think? You're tall. Uh, did you you're see the big guy. Hertz bald head? <laughs> yeah, put a shirt yeah. outshine yours, yeah, buddy. Yeah, but black people, uh, to me, they shave it because it's a look, not because they're bald. Oh, no. It's not because it's a look. Well, tell that to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> he's wearing that bald head real good. He is not black. He ain't nowhere near it. <laughs> I don't think Frank Thomas ever had hair, to be honest with you. What percentage? Neither did Stone Cold. No, okay. I Listen, yeah, yeah. I know when a white guy does it, it's not for a look, okay? It's just because it's out of necessity. But you're uh, there's, like, what about the guys in the NBA? Like, I, I mean, I thought guys. No, if they had a choice, they would be wearing hair. Look at LeBron. He's been holding on for years. For like well, he got work years. done. He's supposed to been cut that Ten shit years. off. He's had all kind of surgeries. Cut that shit. He's tried everything. He did. Yeah, they they uh, they, they re- started. Did you hear this? They started growing his hair on the moon, and then they brought it back. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> you want a moon hair? <laughs> no, uh, and it still didn't work. Because LeBron had LeBron was obviously like his hairline was you know going away like a lot of ours does, and then all of a sudden like next season he comes back and the motherfucker's hair is like down to his eyebrows, you know, like his hairline. So yeah, he did that. By the way, I think the same thing happened with Tom Brady. He was going bald. Oh, hell yeah, you could just look at his pictures. Yeah. Go back. You could go back when he was the Patriots. Like oh, he was going man. bald for a little while. Oh, but and now then he he's came got the back. low cut now. Not, it, did you notice he runs his hand through it now? Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. Oh, I'm talking about like every time he puts he's, the helmet on, how, he's just got a lot of money. How many bad? How many bad like hair jobs do you guys do? You guys see it all? Yeah, like oh, you get them every day. Every day, you're gonna see at least one. And it's every like day. nobody wears a toupee anymore. It's just they, shit. Come on, shit. Well, it's it's not so much a toupee now. It's what a, the fuck a, is it? It's, it's Hollywood. It's, it's a, a, did you say it's Hollywood? A lace front. Yeah, it's Hollywood. It's a man. piece. It's, makeup, it's a lace front. Makeup illusions, my man. Yeah. So do they you call have, it uh, enhancement? <laughs> so do you <sighs> have, have people come in there, put their enhancements, you know, down, and you they have, can they can get that service at Lattinson. Yeah, you can get all that. Do you they have to leave the two? I got some shit in a bottle that's fibers that I can squirt in your hair, and it looks like real fucking fiber hair coming yeah. out your scalp. Yeah, you and it's yeah. not real. And you you showed that to me, and you said if yeah. somebody's going to like a wedding or an event or yeah. something like that's that, that's what it's yeah. for. It's movie it's magic. For. It's movie magic. I know, but what about do you suggest people do that instead of like getting you know a hair transplant or you know? Some... Oh, most definitely. Okay, they, they try because everything. I mean. <laughs> Most of the time, people give a fuck about their hair and how it looks for a picture or an event or something. But building or leading up to that, like, look at myself today. I have nothing going on, and I haven't felt like cutting my hair, so I haven't. And I look like I'm, I look terrible. No. However, <laughs> when I do decide that I want to cut it, it's going to be for a reason, probably, because someone is going to see me or people are going to see me. It's the weekend. And, you know, you want to look good. You don't want to look like shit. You, you gotta, gotta separate black. yourself away from the shit eaters. 
Oh, what's good? What did Caden say? What did you say, Caden? What, what you got to do at all times? Stay fly. Yeah, that means you got to, you know, you're going to a birthday party. You got to stay fly. You got to get a haircut. Yeah, no. I, you know, I, you're going to the game. You got to get a haircut. You're, going, <sighs> you're doing this. You got to get a haircut. I was gonna say I was. I gotta. I'm going to the game, but I yeah. can't get a haircut because I. Why? I don't. I don't. Why not? Um, game's at twelve tomorrow. Can okay. I get, can I make it down and see you guys right like ten thirty or? 12? Yeah, we'll be me and me and Rio will be there. You okay. Know this. Are you guys Are you guys good taking off work like today tomorrow? Is this like? I mean, is this it's, the thing about making your own summertime. schedule? Okay. This and it's summertime. It. Plus, it'd be slow on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And it's summertime, so it's extra slow. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. You guys are just. And I work seven days a week, so if I can't get you Tuesday or Wednesday, I can get you four other other days of the week. Yeah. And you and you guys have. This is one of the perks of being a barber. Like, for instance, if your child needs a chevron, I'm there. You know, for school and stuff, I can volunteer. I can just get up and go. Eat lunch with my child at school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So those are the perks of being a but that's one thing that I always appreciate about being a barber. For instance, oh, going Rio. to the game. Wait, uh, wait, wait, was that Rio's Corona? Yeah, yeah that was, it was, it was I it heard it. it. What's up? Away. Was it is it gone? Oh yeah. Okay. It's over. So All that right. must mean we must be getting close to the end. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I could take oh shit, man. Yeah, we must be getting close to like the end of the show. <laughs> Why cause Rio's getting yeah, tipsy? Rio's, yeah, no, no, he's not tipsy. That was nothing that was like giving a whale a tic tac. <laughs> That part. That's just a starter <laughs> kit. That was just the wettest whistle. Rio said he's bringing a case of Corona next week. Yeah, he's going to put it in the fridge. I, I He does those kind of things. He's a good... Listen, man, we're some good guys. Well, I didn't even know... I don't think any... I, look, I don't know whose fucking beard is in the fridge, but I mean, that's a lot of that stuff's for guests. So, so Rio's been getting a Corona for the last couple of weeks. I mean, right. we're, we're... So we're, it's only right to put them back. Oh, yeah, but nobody's been like, where the Corona's going or anything like that's that. That's okay. I'm still going to put them in yeah, there. Yeah, because we're still guests. Because I'm still going to come and get one every time I come. Yeah, because we're guests still. We don't work here. And, that's and so everybody's guests. more than welcome to the Coronas because... They're Coronas, and everybody's yeah. welcome. To you guys know the Rays are playing the Marlins tomorrow? Yes, yeah. the Marlins have a terrible So we game. should kick their fucking asses. Sure should have. Uh, do, uh, do you stay for the whole game? Well, I'm going to be very it vocal. Depends. It depends on what our phones do. <laughs> Wait, what, the, what the fuck does that mean? If I get, like, three, four customers just paying $100, oh, I'm you're ready gone. To get, you're out of there. Yeah, I'm gone, man. But what well, do you need to see? Like, what do you, do you feel like there's a minimum amount of baseball you need to see? At least. Well, I make my decision about the seventh inning straight. Oh, yeah. that's, yeah. I make my decision before I enter the, the ballpark, no, man. No, man, you can't Well, no, you gotta, gotta check the temperature when you're in there. The temperature's always lackluster, man. I know. It's not lackluster because if we're getting fucking creamed in the fourth inning and ate shit, I don't really want to stay there Rio, for that. I'm there for the company. Company, dude, you think I want to watch the Rays and the Marlins when what takes place on the field? If June and Caminero's not there, I don't care. I want to see the problem is that's not your team. If it was the White Sox, you sit there and watch that bullshit from start to finish. I sure as fuck would, man. I'd watch some good teams. I'd watch a good team. And like, I feel the same way about my Rays. I would. I'd sit there and watch, but I determine how much I'm going to watch because shit, seventh inning stretch. Like I say, if we're getting our asses killed, fifteen shit. What am I fucking really watching? Well, you got to beat the traffic. I mean, unless you guys have a great parking spot. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we got great. Yeah, we have nothing. Is it free? Way. I got a free spot. Uh, we don't choose to say free. Oh well, I just well, it is free. It's, a cuss word. it's complimentary to the neighborhood. Wait, what in yeah. the fuck do you guys have going on? I I messed up with this again. Like a couple weeks. Well, ago we pod. can't tell everybody that it's free. But no, but where or disclose this? I'm I not under, telling on an. Air. I don't want you to. We'll I just tell you when we leave here. But you've got a place that you don't have to pay. No, it's complimentary, it's complimentary to, to the, the neighborhood, neighborhood that we live in, this that is, we're from. Okay. And it is in in a short proximity to the to the, the stadium. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. This is so, yeah. No, let and me just t- know that uh, you you guys will not need your monetary provisions. <laughs> for Are you saying we don't need? Oh, okay. For parking. <laughs> Should I leave? Tomorrow. Should I leave my wallet in the car tomorrow when I w- walk in the trap? Well, it really doesn't matter because um, it's cash. I mean, it's cashless. No, I'm no, but I'm saying so, like, are you? Are, am I getting everything like paid for? Or are you just taking care of a shot? You're getting a shot. I'm just you're seeing if I can get a soft price I mean, deal too. Y'all already paid for the tickets and the shot. Goddamn, <laughs> there's nothing else to pay for. <laughs> Jesus, I thought you like to go on a food bonanza when you go there. Well, you you don't even eat that kind of I shit. I don't eat that, but I want to watch you guys eat that shit. You're going to watch it. 
All right, because I'm going to eat it. I want to do. I want to talk about this though, real quick because when uh, we were waiting in line to see Frank Thomas yesterday, and I was talking to uh, J.K. and D.G. and listen, that's how that's how they go by. But they're Bubba Army, and and J.K. was talking about um, the fact that this podcast, and he was getting deep with me, and it was about how it's crazy how doing this podcast and bringing you guys on comes to a point where you know a 45 year old white guy like JK is going to go down see you guys they met you for the first time they dropped off stuff for school they get their hair cut they bought tickets to the baseball game yesterday i mean i think i honestly think that they're they're down there more than i am they and, are and and the and the and he was just so appreciative of like me putting you guys on and i i don't really see it like that i'm appreciative that you guys come on because i know that you guys our characters, and I know that you guys have a lot to offer as far as entertainment goes, so that's why I did it. But the fact that it's bringing people to the barbershop from all over different places or from places around here, like I still think it's an incredible thing. And tomorrow, you know, because of this podcast, you know, we're all going to a baseball game together. Right. So I think that's, I mean, I think that's, I think that's a, that's a cool thing. I that's think big. that's fucking awesome. That's so, um, big in my world. Caden, had, Caden says next time he would like to go. Oh, all right. Well, this I came. All right. Well, hey, it's okay. He understands. But they, well, don't you say if the kids under three they get in for free? Is that? He a, looks a little bigger than three. I don't know, I, Craig. I got kids and I can't tell if the kids eight or three. I know that's right. You, I mean, I, I don't know that. Right. I mean, we put you, you, you carry him, Craig. I mean, shit. I mean, I can try, but he's tall as me. I know. Well, that's why I said you got to carry. You got to carry him. You know, <laughs> he is as tall as me. We'll wrap his legs in a blanket you and do something. But he looks my size. <laughs> just be like, listen, this, this fight. Isn't that crazy? He's almost my height. It's well. It's not that. I mean, you're not. It's not like you're six six. You know? Oh, I got a good story, right quick. <laughs> Seth, do you remember that you gave me the Drake tickets? Yes, I gave you. Was it for your daughter? No, we all went. My me, my son, Lauren was in London. Lauren went out of town or something. She couldn't go. But initially, the tickets were for really her and, and her, my, you know, the boy. How many did I get you? Two or four? Four. I so, got you four Drake tickets? Yes, and we were Jeez. 30 yards away from it. Holy fuck, man. To the right of the stage, like literally to the right of the stage, we were there. So one of the greatest concerts I've ever been to, my son and one of the players on the football team, one of his, you know, real close guys, they went to the, you know, concert with us. I had to have the talk on the way, you know, in the car. Look, I'm finna fire up this joint in the car. <laughs> gonna crack the windows and shit. Y'all in high school. Y'all look at that. Y'all understand this. Is that the first time he smoked in front of your son? Hell no. But, but this he was his it, friend? he had his friend okay. in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we got on to the concert and literally that got me and my son closer. It was an amazing experience. I really appreciate it because that was the first time that I saw the amazing Drake. And it was the last time too, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, I can I just tell you I it's in, not because I look at the poster of him every day. You gotta put while he's humping his wife in my room. I thought okay, listen. Now I want to the Usher post. When was that? Do you know what year that was? You said your son was in that high had school. To be like thirteen? Uh yeah. Man, and I, it's crazy to even think Drake's been around thirteen years. It feels yeah. like he's been around seven or eight. And the and okay, so I that is that, that it's not easy to get Drake tickets. So well, but back then it was because he he was in the Sun Dome. Oh, he played the Sun Dome back then. Yeah, you it got was s- nothing big. It wasn't no Allen. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it wasn't the big stadium. Was nothing. He was at the Sun Dome. Man, now he literally gave away a hundred blackberries or whatever he used to use. What was that he used to kick it with? On site, was, on stage that on night, stage, he did. Yeah, on stage that night. Yeah. Sidekicks, sidekicks. <laughs> it was something. It was one you typed in because remember he used to write his raps in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then he also had his friends go through the crowd and pick out ten beautiful women. Okay, but he did give out a hundred blackberries on he the stage. About a hundred blackberries. You know, and he still does that with his shows that, or the last tour that he was he was finishing up. He would go and people would have up signs like, "Hey, I spent my last ten thousand dollars to get here. I have chemo, or Damn. you know, or hey, my boyfriend dumped me, and I, you know, I spent you know my last two hundred bucks on these tickets." And he's Damn. like, "He's like, I'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars, and you're gonna find a new man tonight." You know, yeah, and- yeah they made that shit up. I, I, I do wonder how they're going to get into like. I don't believe Drake it. says on the stage, "I'm going to give you ten thousand dollars." You go, you go crazy, and then you're just hanging around after the show. What the fuck? I'm going up there now. <laughs> like everybody, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> you said ten, right? Like tonight, right now, right? Like, yeah, I need that now, Drake. I'm because like, I'm already starting to spend it. It's Drake. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm. We'll. 
listen, I'm, I did a podcast the other day, Eminem's Top 50 Songs, and I'm, I'm not going to engage you guys on rapping shit anymore because like you guys don't like to talk about the, your top five favorite rappers. Jeez. But Drake has the most listens uh, on Spotify for a rapper, hip-hop, whatever you guys want to call it. Eminem is a, a distant second. Is Drake the the biggest of all time? The best entertainer? Is he no, going to be, I don't want to say the best but rapper, but will he go down as... A great entertainer? Yeah. Top five entertainer? Uh, Top five rapper? Uh, 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 yeah, because I can't really say rapper because he's more of an entertainer. Yeah, he's just an entertainer. Yeah, he's an actor. Wait, what, what do you mean he's just an entertainer? He's Listen, when you act, you get a script from someone, right? Yeah. Okay, Drake he gets his- went from acting with a script to doing on the stage with a written script from a rapper. And he writing his own script. Sometimes. But most yeah. of the times, he's a it's great a entertainer. But he's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. Yeah. Okay. See, that's why the conversation. Jamie Fox, same thing. Entertainer. entertainer. He had an album. Sounds great. I agree. Sounds great. Right. Tyrese. But he's an entertainer. entertainer. These are entertainers. Okay. Ludacris. Entertainer. Entertainer. Oh, come on, man. Ludacris is a great, very underrated rapper, man. I, he's, he's a great still rapper, an entertainer. he's still an entertainer. He started as a DJ. And he used the rap game to get in. Chris Lava Lava. In a Entertainer. But like Ludacris is like one of the greatest rappers ever. I, I have no, not I taken that, that from him. I, I won't say, say that, that he's a good all. rapper. He's a great rapper. He's a great rapper, right? Yeah, I know. I would give him that. I'm not going to say of all. No, I, I'm not saying of all time. But I'm saying like he is. Ludacris is very skilled. He's in my he's skilled eight. enough to be a good entertainer. He's a great entertainer. How do you get a guy? How when do you consider somebody to be hip hop? Like was Tupac an entertainer? He was, he was an entertainer, he was but entertainer he was too. also a rapper. So he what, also was thugged out. Rapper with it, yeah, because he yeah, was he's really a rapper. Yeah, he had no problem. Did you, you guys got people to this day still trying to be like him? Did you yeah. guys hear that? Um, no one's trying to be like Ludacris. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you th- <laughs> do you think that if Notorious no. B.I.G. because people you know call him one of the greatest, they put call Tupac one of the greatest. If B.I.G. was still alive. What if his? What if he would have turned into like the next Rick Ross? Like, how do we know like the trajectory would have been? I believe that if he's still alive, there isn't a Rick Ross. Okay. I believe yeah. that never comes. Well, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Shine well, never comes. Yeah. Rick Ross never comes. A lot of people don't come. A lot of people. Tupac still alive. Jay Z yeah, never of takes don't off. Come. Did there's you know that? Uh, so Tupac's family just hired a uh, hired lawyers to look into the claims that uh, Diddy was involved. With uh, with Tupac's murder. Yeah, because they well, trying that ain't to bleed. no damn Chinese secret. Yeah, they trying to bleed Diddy of every corner of nook and cranny of money that he has. But they've been saying Diddy did this for what 20, 30 years now. I mean, yeah. like, do you think he did? Of course. Yeah, he did it. Okay, he did it just did. like OJ did it. Yeah. Is he gonna Is he gonna get caught up for it? You think they're catching him now? All this Diddy shit. It's fascinating stuff, man. Right. We haven't had, and then yeah, and then we had poor Julio Fulio. At least his. Oh man! Hey, see his people got uh, those people got arrested. Oh man! Did you guys they, see oh, that? They them guys, they caught them. Yeah. You know what happened, Craig? So the, you what know did they tell about it online. Yeah. So Julio Fulio, for those that weren't following the story, he's a rapper. I guess he was from Jacksonville. Jackson, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, Idiots from up there. Drill yeah. rap. <laughs> Drill rap. The, what, they, what they call that up there? The, uh, the bang them where they hang them. <laughs> Duval. Yeah. Duval. Shout out to Duval. He had like uh, he was like turning twenty five or twenty six, and he's you know was a rapper, and he came to Tampa, got an Airbnb, invited people. Uh, they got kicked out of the Airbnb, went to the hotel, and so there were two. There was one girl that kept going with him to all these different spots, and she kept texting these other these guys where uh, they were. I, I, I kind of figured. So that. then these guys end up showing up, which is something that happens a lot. Like yeah, I kind of figured. Of that. course, the hoes gonna set your yeah. ass up. I, you know what? I'm with, him, bunch I'm, of with him now. I'm with him now. I'm with him yeah, now. I'm with him now. Oh, I'm just going to play like I'm going to give him something. We're going to get him. And they probably ain't give her nothing but $100 and a goddamn biscuit meal. And she should get a life sentence. Oh, she's in. Yeah, she's with them. She's in the mugshot group, in with them. So. Damn, damn right. She should get as much as they get. She should That's get right. as much, if not more. Yeah. The not conspiracy more. part of it. Thank you. All right, guys. Huh? Anything else? Oh, Caden got to say bye. Oh, yeah. Did or anything else in the barbershop this week at all, guys? Oh, or? no. Just, oh. hey, everybody, please just do not forget Sunday. If you have time, come out. If you got kids, come out. If you got something to donate, bring it by. We really, really, really appreciate everybody. And we will have thank yous coming to everybody 
Pencils, mm-hmm. notebooks, you know, binders, folders. Uh, any, yeah, any scissors. Anything. And we're still looking for 25 backpacks for little kids. So and we probably- also need left-handed glue. What? <laughs> left-handed glue? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> he had me for one second, man. He had me, and I was like, gonna go, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, We need as yeah, much left-handed me, glue. Yeah, me, because I was like, well, damn, I'm yeah. left-handed. I ain't yeah, never had no left-handed, left-handed glue. glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need some left-handed glue, man. You, you guys prefer glue or a glue stick? I like paste. Oh, we talked about that last week. Yeah. You, you ate paste. I don't want to taste it. Okay. Paste isn't a thing anymore, though, is it? I hope not. Okay. Well, can you bring paste? Can you accept paste? I will. Okay. We they bring... may not make it to the To kids. the kids? <laughs> He might, he might huff all this that. motherfucker you know what might saying? get hungry. Like, what happened to Craig DeBarber? He's back there huffed out on the fucking paste, man. This guy was enjoying the archery on the Olympics so much that he wanted to start eating paste to really yep. take it to the next yep. level. And then, and then now look at him. He's pasted out. Well, guys, I'm looking forward to the game. Seeing you tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to the shot, but you're getting it. At least I'll be with you guys. So if something happens to me where I die or I you're fall down the die. stairs, you're not no one die. ever died from a shot. But would, yeah, if, would anything, you, if anything, you'll probably catch a foul ball. But would you give me mouth to mouth if I if, if, if I you're fell? Dead. No, you're, you're dead. dead. <laughs> you motherfuckers, you're dead. Goddamn, Bayfront Hospital's right oh, up the Bayfront, street. Oh, Bayfront, they're gonna. I'd rather they're die. Right there. I'd rather die on the stairs than it's go to Bayfront. Well, St. Anthony's Orlando. is right around the corner okay, too. It's Orlando Health now. Take and me. all the motherfuckers <laughs> is out there. I ain't doing no mouth to mouth and shit. Ta- don't take me to Bayfront. If I fall out tomorrow, please don't have them take me anywhere. But St. Anthony's got you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, St. Anthony. You got people in the Bayfront waiting. They got heroin needles in their arms, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah you mm. never know what And they've been there for six hours. They can't figure like, out. No, you know, I'm next. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been in either one. How long you been here? Uh, two days, I think. Been here two days, man. That's the worst place in the world, emergency That's rooms, what dude. They say. Uh-oh. All right, you ready for Caden? Yeah, bring it on. Tell everybody bye, bro. I'm ready to have a good day, and school is coming up. Mm. And plus, the drop off is at. Latin Sons okay. by MLK Street. 2400 MLK Street. Street. That's right. You going to be there, Caden? Of course. Oh, I, I Tell don't... him. Yes. Okay, so, good. Will you hand out backpacks with me? Yes. Okay. You going to hang out with Self Sunday? It'll be good Don't for my street cred if I have if I have if I'm surrounded by uh, by you know yeah, small black if children. Plus, he brings his daughter, then you guys can meet each other. Oh, I should bring her. That is a good yeah, idea so because she, she needs. Can have, yeah, she can get a backpack. Yeah, she no, no, no. We got. She's got backpacks. We don't want to take it. We, do, but you know what? She needs to. She needs to be a part of like you know giving back and seeing what that's all about. Yeah, and well, she can come on out. Yeah, well, let's get her in the mix. Can we put her to work a little bit? Just a little bit. Her on out. There. Hey, we doing haircuts on Sunday or no? I don't know. Well, well, not you, Caden. No, <laughs> talking to Grandpappy. You I'm, heard, Kate, you heard, Caden. I need to get fade. I need to get faded up. Should I do it tomorrow or should I do it Sunday? Tomorrow's a better day. All we'll right. see you at ten thirty. All right, see you guys. Because it is a better All right, day. Bye. All righty, peace, everybody. Thanks again, everybody, for the school drive. Bye Seth, bye. Bye bye. Bye <laughs> bye. Have a good time. You have a better time. <laughs>